I think one of the things that can happen today that's very positive is um, what is called 10th Amendment interposition, or the idea of a state actually standing up to the federal government and beginning to say, look, no more mandates. Uh, they have to be consistent. They can't take money for one thing and not another, but they do need to begin to do that. And I think that uh, the fact that 36, 37 states, as I am uh, giving this interview, have already filed 10th Amendment uh, resolutions is interesting because what it does is it helps to give us an idea that's already in the framework of our Constitution. It's not a rebellious act. It's not an anarchistic act at all. It's written right in the 10th Amendment itself. And these individual states are beginning to resist. And I think if that movement actually continues, there's a good possibility there can be a total peaceful resolution to the situation that we face in America where the form of government appears to have uh, flip-flopped and completely become opposite of what it was originally intended. Uh, where now it appears to be top-down and centralized, obviously it was built bottom-up and decentralized. So I think those kinds of movements where Christians can do it lawfully and submit to the proper uh, proper authorities, that's a, that's a good thing for a Christian to be involved in. And I think that's something that um, we need to look to in the future. Who knows what God may require of us in the future? But we need to know, know the past, know the scriptures, and ultimately know Christ is victor either way.